Senyanga promised U.S. cash. Trip to State House if we could prove Kayanja sodomized U.S. Suspect Mulengarenews.com, by Mulengara, October 21, 2023 at 12.12 p.m. by Mulengara Reporters. One of the men accused of making false claims against Pastor Robert Kayanja on Friday recounted in gripping detail how he and his co-accused were made an enticing offer by Pastor Jackson Zenyanga of Christian Life Church Kabul, to get incriminating evidence that the Miracle Center senior pastor had sodomized them. Testifying before Mwanga two magistrates court in Mengo on Friday, one of the suspects Adrian Zebel made the shocking revelation, recounting how he and his colleagues attempted to fake the evidence to make off with Zenyanga's big money. Sabail said together with his co-accused, Peter Sarugo, Khalifa Labib, Henry Lyazi, and Moses Tumwine, met Pastor Zenyanga at a meeting which was arranged by the pastor's female personal assistant. During a meeting at the mega church, Sabail says the man of God asked them if they could furnish him with evidence, preferably pictures or videos of them being sodomized by his Rubaga counterpart. He said he wanted videos showing Pat or Kayanja even if he was just half naked, said Sabail. Zenyanga, according to the accused, dangled an irresistible offer of US$20,000 if they could bring him the videos. He also promised to take us to meet the First Lady and to later take us abroad. He said he would take care of us and that our lives would never be the same again, narrated Sabail. After the meeting, he says, he and his colleagues, who at the time were working as part of Kayanja's security team and on his upcountry farm, went back home and devised plans to concoct evidence to take to Pastor Sinyanga. The plan, Sabail says, was to slaughter a chicken and use its blood to simulate a raptured anus. We carried on with the plan. I slaughtered my chicken and put some blood on the toilet seat and some on the toilet paper. I then recorded the lower part of my body wiping myself with the blood-stained tissue, he said. Hearing of this case is still ongoing and Magistrate Adams Bayarugaba adjourned it to November 3 when the matter will come up again.